हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल दिस इज सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स पेपर टू ऑफ अप्रैल 2022 ऑफ कैम्ब्रिज लोअर सेकेंडरी राइट फॉर ईयर नाइन सम कंट्रीज दे टू दिस इन ईयर एट सो वी कैन यूज कैलकुलेटर इन दिस पेपर राइट सो इन द फर्स्ट वीडियो वी कवर्ड क्वेश्चन वन टू फोर्टीन इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डू द रिमेनिंग क्वेश्चन सो विदाउट एनी डिले लेट स्टार्ट बिफोर वी स्टार्ट प्लीज subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends and let me know if there is any improvement that you need okay so numbers 15 yuri has a large rectangular and measuring card measuring this one uh, measuring 1.2 meters by 0.8 he wants to cut it up the small rectangle card Uh, by this work out the largest number of cards that he can make so now they all about this like it should be uh, done by the area like how it should be done so see you have one point so, uh, try to understand what is the meaning of the question so this is the rectangular sheet that yuri has it measures 1.2 meters by 0.8 meters he wants to cut it into smaller rectangles like this so we are looking for like uh, work out the largest number of cards that he can make how many cards will be made by this one so uh, let's see now the largest number now you see first of all let's convert that the bigger card so length is 1.2 meters so if you multiply this by 100 this is going to be 120 cm similarly width is 0.8 meters times 100 it is uh, 80 cm right uh, so uh, this is the length of the bigger card okay length and width and now the smaller one for the smaller one so from here if this is 0.8 right and if you divide this by 13 that should be the length of the uh, not 13 sorry uh, length should be this way so it should be 13 cm by the smaller one 13 cm by 11.5 the small one 13 this way and 11.5 so 80 divided by 11.5 so let's see 80 divided by 11.5 it is 6.95 right so this should be the uh actually width right and for the length it should be uh 120 divided by the length which is 13 so 120 divided by 13 120 divided by 13 9.23 this should be the length right so we are looking for the largest number so largest number uh, is like if we make this let's say we are making this 10 and 6 from here so one we can round up one we can round down uh, so 6 times 10 it should be 60 so maximum number uh, that can be made is 60 if it's the minimum then we will take 6 and 9 right so now moving to number 16 and uh, there are the ratios of iron to other material in the metal a and metal b metal a and b iron and other material take the metal that contains greater proportion of iron uh, then you must show your working so greater proportion of iron uh, we can make it like um, divide it by 27 then we can get that value we can have this let's say we this is metal a and this is metal b this is 2 ratio 27 and this is 5 ratio 56 so this is uh, iron and this one is other material right iron and other material so we are basically trying to compare iron right so if i divide this by 27 both sides i will get one here 
right then 2 divided by 27 why I am doing that I will let just let you know uh, divided by 27 sorry 2 divided by 27 it's 0 0.074 right and this side if I divide it by 56 on both sides then I will get 1 here and 5 divided by 56 this is 0 0.089 right so now this is the quantity of iron if if the other metal is one so we have we can easily compare this now which one is greater here it is the greater one is for metal b so we will tick metal b so 0 0.89 is greater than 0 0.074 right question 17 the frequency diagram shows the number of uh, visits to the gym by 155 people in september so we have number of people this side and we have number of visitors here work out how many people went to gym more than 20 times more than 20 times is like above this down here uh, so this one is let's say this is 25 right here it is 25 and this one is 15 so 25 plus 15 which is 40 okay now work out the class interval that contains the median number of visits median number of visits let's see uh, median we have 155 people divide by 2 it is 70 7.155 divided by 2 77.5 right so let's see 77 point this one is we have here this is 25 and then 40 and this is 20 this is 30 so in this interval we have 25 plus 40 which is 65 then from here to here we have 65 plus 20 75 so uh, next we will have uh, 75 plus 30 this is going more I'm sorry this is 85 right so we need not to go ahead 77.5 will come here which is this interval so 11 to 15 now number 18 write down the decimal numbers in the place to make this statement true so it can have more than one answers here uh, because there are many numbers that can fit here 0 0.009 and we have 0 0.01 so let me just add we can add and divide it by 2 mm. so or we can just add one zero if we add one zero here zero point zero nine zero and this is zero point zero one zero so we are looking a number between this one so it may be like zero point zero zero nine five we can have a number middle somewhere sorry nine here right so in this case we will have a number that is in the middle somewhere it is zero point zero one it is 0 0.011 so if I add here 0 so we can have a number in middle somewhere so let's say 110 it's we can add zeros after decimals right so we can have a number between 100 and 110 0, 0.0 let's say I'm writing here 105 okay I'm in 1.0 0 0.0105 Question 19, the diagram shows shape A and shape B drawn on the grid A and B. Describe fully the single transformation that transforms from shape A to shape B, from A to B. You can use tracing paper. So this is the shape that I have traced here. So if I put it here, first of all, we need to know if I bring it this side, it is a rotation, right? So I have already written this is a rotation here. Then how it is anti-clockwise, right? We have rotate, rotated it to anti-clockwise about we need to know the center now the exact center there should be a point let's see what is that uh, so if I have this here so if I kept it here at 0 so it is coming left 
so that means I have to move right so if I move here again this is down it is down then I need to move up there if I move up here then you see we have the exact shape on the tie so this is our point then what point is that this is one and one so our center of rotation is one one so you see we have three uh, marks here so we need to write down at least three things here uh, rotation anti-clockwise about one one now number 20 two points a and b have coordinates this find the coordinates of midpoint so midpoint is always equal to x1 plus x2 over 2 y1 plus y2 over 2 this is x1 y1 this is x2 y2 right so x1 minus 1 plus 3 over 2 4 plus 6 over 2 so this is 2 over 2 10 over 2 so we have here uh, 1 and 5 so 1 and 5 is answer for number 20 number 21 this is a triangular prism here uh, this is the net of the prism it is drawn in on centimeter paper uh, uh, so we are looking for the surface area of the prism so we can just count the number of squares so we have here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 uh, let's count the full one first 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 5 6 7 28 29 30 31 32 33 right now this and this can be 34 right this and this can be 35 and this and this can be 36 so our answer is going to be 36 centimeter square just count the number of square and we can count the more than half okay number 22 here is a multiplication with mixed number missing right uh, work out the missing mixed number so this is something mis mixed number so, so let's say this is x right so 5 over 8 uh, times sorry 5 over 8 times x is 3 over 4 then x will be 3 over 4 when you take this 5 divided by 8 to other side divide it will be divide right so then x is equal to 3 over 4 change this to multiply and take the reciprocal of that like this now you simplify 4 times 2 8 so this is 6 over 5 that can be written as 1 1 over 5 so 1 1 over 5 is the answer okay now number 23 lily has two bags each bag contains four counters as shown in the diagram 1 2 3 1 1 1 sorry 1 2 3 3 1 1 2 3 she picks one counter from each bag and adds all the numbers adds picks one counter each bag and adds the number on the counter work out the probability that the total of our number is more than three right so this table may be useful so we can have sample space diagram here so we have here one two three three i have taken counters from here now counters from here one one two and add one plus one is two 1 plus 2 is 3, 1 plus 3, 4 and 4, we are just adding 1 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 2 plus 1, 3, 4, 5 and 5, then 4, 3 plus 2, 5, 6 and 6. Now we are looking for more than 3, more than 3 is, uh, uh, all these are more than 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, I'm oh, sorry, not this one, 9, 10, 11. So they are, there are 11 outcomes out of how many? These are 4 here, 4 here, 4 times 4 is 16. So 11 over 16 will be the probability. Right? Number 24, the graph shows that cost of electrical wire is proportional to the length of the wire. We have cost here, we have length here. Use the graphs to find the formula for C, uh, formula for the cost C, 
of the length of wire x meters right so now we see here um, this is uh, <clears throat> uh, how should we do that this is the fifth 10 here length 10 meters and the cost is uh, uh, 15 and win the middle 15 plus this is uh, 35 and half of that this is 17.5 right so this is 17.5 so if the um, cost is uh, 10 sorry the length is 10 length for 10 is 17.5 dollars for 10 meters the cost is 17.5 so this is going to be 1.75 x times x we are looking for x meters whatever is there so it is 1.75 x okay now calculate the cost of 23.4 meters of wire so for 1 meter the cost so we have the formula here 1.75 x so uh, 1.75 times x now is 23.4 so when you calculate it comes out to be 40.95 number 25 cube a has volume of 125 centimeter cube cube b has side length of 125 cube c has surface area of 125 centimeter squares write cubes a b c in order of size starting with the smallest this is a tricky question so but don't worry you will figure it out cube a b and cube c so for cube a we have volume 125 centimeter square for cube b we have length 125 centimeters right and for cube c we have surface area of 125 centimeters square so we have the length of this but we can find out length of this one so volume volume is of the cube is length times length times length is 125 so that means l cube is 25 so l will be cube root of 125 which is 5 centimeters so that is the length of cube A, length of cube B is this one and length of cube C. And so area of the cube, the formula of surface area of the cube is 6L squared equals to 25. So L squared is 125 divided by 6, 125 divided by 6. This is 20.83. Then for the length, we have to find out the square root of this. So, square root of 20.83 is 4.56. Okay. So, now, uh, so this is the length. We can approximate this to 5 centimeters, right? No, because we have length here also. So, I think we should not. So, 4.5. So, the smallest, which one is smallest out of this? The smallest is this one, C, which is 4.56. And after that, we have A, which is 5 centimeters, and then is B. Right? So, this is how you can find the logics to find this out. Okay, so that's it for this paper. This was the last question. I hope you guys understood everything. If there is anything let me know in the comment section if you like the video and if the videos are helping you please press the like button and share it with your friends thank you so much guys for subscribing the channel and for your support god bless you all the best for your coming exams see you in the next video bye bye